Hi, welcome to a new video dedicated to a new FPV camera module. This is the Bot Clash F08, and this one is not only including a video transmitter uh, coupled with the, uh, an FPV uh, generally CMOS camera, this model is also integrating a DVR so you will be able to record in more higher resolution your FPV flight. So let's discover this small box. So, first of all, you will find the modules. As you can see in the first glance, it's more wider, more high as well. So what also you can find in the packaging, you can find an instruction manual, a small piece of paper, okay, where you will be able to find, for example, all the list of the frequency. Uh, as you can see, six channels, so it's 48 channel, okay, is supported. You will be able to find the role of each button here, okay? And let's continue to describe. We have a cable, so it's nothing else that's a 125 millimeter uh, micro GST connector. It's exactly a male to male, okay? And two spare 5 to 30 gigahertz antenna. As you can see, you have the uh, shielding outers and a very thin uh, conductor, okay? If you need to replace, uh, if you break it during a crash, your uh, current uh, antenna. So here is the module. Immediately I will give some weight information. I will remove the lens cap. And this module weights 5.6 grams. So pretty light for something interesting a micro SD card. I already inserted a micro SD card. It's on the left side. Be aware, you must enter a class 10 card. If it's a lower class, it won't work. Okay? So be, be aware of that. Just need to insert until you can hear the click. And now it's a plug. We have, in terms of dimension, uh, 120 degrees field of view. Uh, lens it's an m7 format okay and uh, it's a classic format and i will give the exact dimension of the uh, 24 millimeters by more or less something about 22 okay and the uh, integrating the lens should be around 17 okay so i'll uh, be aware uh, this uh, module compared to the other one is ending with a female 125 uh, millimeters micro GST connector. Uh, why? Because in general this module must be uh, coupled with, for example, the last uh, uh, Bwoop B03 Pro, okay? I reviewed some days ago, where you can just plug and play it. If uh, you have, for example, um, a classic tiny whoop you should use this uh, micro gst extender like this and in this case you will hand with a male connector the combo will add some extra grams but not so much more you will be something about less than six grams for sure you will be around 5.9 grams okay so less than three grams okay and we have a 25 milliwatts uh, video transmitter. You can set everything. So uh, classically, short press, you will cycle between the eight frequency uh, inside the selected Q and V band. And if you long press, you will have another light, blue light. You will cycle between the uh, six uh, uh, band supported bands. So you can plug a battery like this directly. Okay, if I'm not wrong. And you will have the uh, uh, blue light for the uh, band and the green for the current frequency you have a red light for the uh, dvr okay and if you short press it will start recording it should flash like this and if you press one more time it will stop recording no action when it's you long press on it okay uh, i was expecting to maybe to turn into ntac pell it's not really the case or okay so uh, be aware of that in other words, the module is warming a lot. The DVR part is probably consuming a lot of current. Be aware of that. So uh, I will show in a few instances the quality of the display, but of course uh, in a real demo flight on a quadcopter. So I will turn on my FPV monitor, for example, this Amway model, and let's show you the quality of 
this uh, module. So, I hope you will be able to see. The quality is great, the field of view pretty good, 120 degrees in my point of view, a good choice, not too wide, not too narrow for both indoors and outdoors application. Uh, the light sensitivity of this module is maybe a little bit weak. Uh, we Okay, should be a little bit better. We have something about one lux maximum. And as I said previously, this model is warming a lot. So you need definitely an air cool um, to uh, cool a little bit this uh, module. And let's press uh, the uh, uh, recording first without recording. Look at the, the uh, lag. The latency is pretty small, but as soon as I will press recording, Okay, look at that, no extra latency. So it's pretty, pretty cool. What is the uh, magic ingredient versus, for example, the Atin uh, model? This one was uh, recording 720p, but as soon as you press in recording, you notice some frame rate drop. It's not the case here. So the secret, in fact, for this model, the resolution, recorded resolution, is not 720p. The native one is more or less a kind of VGA plus, something about 840 by uh, 480 maximum. Then it will be interpolated up to 1280 by uh, 720p. So uh, they are playing with uh, interpolation to reach an IR resolution, but the native one is not a true HD one. So be aware of that. For, is it a good choice versus uh, the Urchin? I think yes. I prefer to have a lower resolution, but to have no extra latency, no frame rate, frame rate drop, okay, uh, compared to have a better quality, but with a lot of frame rate drop and uh, uh, probably some extra latency. So in fact, this module is a kind of, um, I would say, a DVR recording perfectly the VGA the FPV resolution. Don't expect so much more, but at least it's not bad. Whatever the distance, you will have a super clean uh, D1, a kind of D1 NTSC format. That's great. Of course, we can expect soon an upgrade, okay, but uh, with really recording uh, 720p. But if we have to wait to meet some of frame rate uh, drop is not worthy. So, um, of course, uh, as you can see, I overlaid some uh, sample and I will hand this uh, small uh, presentation and uh, unboxing and testing with a real uh, demo flight. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.